Your Storm Shield forecast, only on Fox 47 News. Not exactly stupendous <laughs> summer weather out there today, nope. Justin, but we could sure use the rain. Yeah, the rain definitely helped. Most folks, Sarah, picking up between a quarter and a half inch of that sweet stuff, and we could certainly use that. We're going to have a few more chances come in the next few days, but the weather's not going to be cool and damp like it was this morning. It's going to be very, very hot and very humid as well. Right now, comfortable conditions today. We're finally starting to see some sun on what was an otherwise dreary begin to the day, but we're now ending it on a fairly sunny note, and we'll see those clouds continue to clear out. Doppler radar shows that here. You see the activity pushing off towards the south and east of us as the system rotates right on out of here, taking away any of those light sprinkles with it and freeing up our skies. Well, I think we'll see a good deal of sun before today is said and done. Now, temperatures right now are the warmest they've been all day. Most folks sat in the lower 70s all day. Jackson even upper 60s, but we're now seeing a few 80s in Hastings Battle Creek out to the west. Charlotte is up to 79 degrees. Lansing still at 75, so a few degrees yet to get towards our three degree guarantee, which we'll be showing you later on at 10 o'clock tonight. But the humidity that hasn't gone anywhere. Dew points still in the upper 60s and that humidity stays for the weekend as well. These dew points are in fact going to be up into the 70s, so it'll feel very, very muggy and uncomfortable out there. Now satellite and radar shows that activity again moving east. We've got nothing but clear skies across Lake Michigan, and that's going to mean a nice clear night for us tonight and a sunny day tomorrow. So future track will show that here. Get through this evening. We lose the clouds overnight. It's a mainly clear one. We get into the day tomorrow and it's a lot of sunshine, especially as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. Lots of that sun for us there. Now it'll be overnight Friday night, although things stay clear and into our early Saturday. This is when you'll note the wind direction starts to shift out of the south and that'll bring in some more moisture. So dew points rise. It also brings the temps up as well. We'll be under that sun for most of the day. Now late in the day, could see a quick passing shower, but most of this activity holds off until Saturday night, so we won't have to worry about anything except for being very, very hot and humid on our Saturday. But for this evening, again, temperature is going to go down through those 70s as we approach midnight. Skies start to clear, though. Eventually, we do see clear skies, and those temps will fall, especially after midnight, down to around a low of 60 degrees. Into the day tomorrow, we'll see a lot of sunshine, especially throughout the middle afternoon. You definitely want to have some sunscreen ready. It won't be quite as humid as we get into the day tomorrow. Some folks get to 90, but I think most end up in those upper 80s. So not quite as humid as the weekend will be, but still a hot one as we're getting back into those upper 80s under mostly sunny skies. Now into Saturday, that's really the day we want to watch. I think we get low 90s definitely, maybe even as warm as middle 90s in some spots. Heat index could be close to 100 degrees. And then some late rain comes in Saturday night, and some of those storms carry into Sunday where we're still around 90 degrees for the high. Now into Monday, we start to see temps in the middle to lower 80s for the rest of the next coming week. Just a few shower and thunderstorm chances in there, but we're definitely going to keep an eye on that weekend with all that heat and humidity out there.